In 2024, everybody who saw electric cars thought they had seen it all, until China's newest models came out. This has nothing to do with a longer range or faster charging. It's like common automobiles are doing tricks that used to only be seen in concept videos and billion-dollar hypercars. The hydraulic technology on a BYD Yangwang U9 lets it jump off the ground, avoid obstacles, and drift sideways on city streets. In the time it takes to get a snack, Zeker's new 007 charges 500 kilometers. The back seats of NIO's luxury sedans fully recline, and the ride is so smooth that you could work or sleep while going over construction zones. Some automobiles, like the IML6, discreetly absorb solar energy as you drive, giving you genuine mileage without needing to charge in. The rules are changing all the time. Battery tests that use nails to get through the pack, family cars that can go as fast as supercars, and automobiles that can park themselves in tight areas. China's new electric vehicles, EVs, are not just raising the bar in a market where upgrades are slow and features often reused. They are also redefining what people expect from a car. This isn't a headline for the rest of the world, it's a wake-up call. Almost no one saw it coming, but the EV game just changed. The line between supercar and daily driver is disappearing, and it's happening fastest in China. Take the BYD Yangwang U9. It's not just fast, it's engineered for showmanship. Four motors deliver over 1,300 horsepower and torque vectoring so precise, the car can tank turn on the spot or leap over road hazards. Something that felt impossible for a production EV just a year ago, Zeker's 007 Golden Battery Edition pushes the boundary in a different way. Its Catel Keelin battery delivers almost 900 kilometers of range, charges in minutes, and shrugs off extreme tests, nail punctures fire, without failing. The result? a family sedan with specs that make old luxury brands look outdated. Then there's the IM Motors L6. On the surface, it looks like a high-end commuter. But under the glass roof are solar cells that add real daily range, up to 60 kilometers on a sunny day. No wall plug needed. That's more than most city drivers use in 24 hours. The shock isn't just the numbers. It's that these features are showing up in models regular people can buy, not just millionaires. For global automakers, it's a direct challenge. Performance and innovation aren't niche anymore. They're becoming the standard. It's not just about speed and range in the EV competition in China. It's also about making cars smarter and more comfortable. The NIO ET9 includes a Skyride chassis that uses a mix of air and hydraulic suspension, along with LiDAR, to find and smooth out bumps up to 500 meters ahead. The back seats not only recline, but they are also made for actual work or rest. They include magnetic suspension that is adjusted to reduce motion sickness even in stop-and-go traffic. The Xiaomi SU7 Max makes your car a real part of your digital life. HyperOS combines your phone, smart home gadgets, and even drones directly to the driving experience. Want to be aware of everything around you? The automobile uses your phone's cameras to get more coverage, which gives you safety and visibility that standard sensors can't match. It's usability you can feel, not just read about. Real-world drivers use these features every day. Families with kids, business travelers, commuters who want a car that does more than just get them from A to B. And with fast battery swaps and updates delivered over the air, owning one of these EVs feels less like dealing with a machine and more like having a service that quietly adapts to your routine. For many, it's these touches, comfort, health, digital integration, that are turning first-time buyers into loyal fans. The biggest leap in China's new EVs isn't just what they do on the road, it's what's powering them underneath. Cattle's new 4C and 5C batteries are rewriting the rules on charging. The Zeker 007 can add 500 kilometers of range in 10 minutes, outpacing even Tesla's fastest chargers by a huge margin. The chemistry is tougher too. Semi-solid state packs survive nail punctures and fire tests that would cripple older lithium cells. NIO's 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery pushes range close to 1,000 kilometers on a single charge, and it's swappable in five minutes. In the IM Motors L6, solar cells embedded in the roof, virtually invisible, give you up to 60 extra kilometers a day in good weather. That's enough to skip charging altogether for many city drivers. The technology doesn't just say it's safe. Independent studies demonstrate that these new batteries stay cool even when they are charged very quickly.
This is because they use phase change materials to keep each cell at its best. Drivers in the actual world don't have to worry as much about overheating, failure, or battery fires, issues that are still making news in other places. The effect is clear. China's newest batteries have a longer range, charge faster, and are safer, all at a speed and scale that makes competitors scurry to catch up. One of the main reasons many people still hesitate to switch to electric is the fear of running out of power. In China, that problem is quietly being erased. NIO's battery swap stations have become so common that some drivers don't even think about charging anymore. A fresh battery in under two minutes, faster than most gas stops, with over 2,300 stations already online and more opening every week. Zeker's fireproof golden battery doesn't just promise long life. It's been put through punishing safety tests and keeps working even after being punctured or set on fire. That's not just a marketing claim. Those tests are run in front of cameras and industry experts. China's grid is also getting smarter. Some swap stations are built to store solar energy and feed power back into the grid when needed. If there's a blackout, these stations can act as mini power plants, keeping local areas running even when the main grid is down. Compare that to waiting 30 minutes at a fast charger or planning trips around where you can plug in. For EV owners in China's big cities, Range anxiety is becoming something they only read about in headlines from other countries. China's EVs are rapidly closing the gap and in some ways, leaping ahead when it comes to self-driving tech. Huawei's ADS 3.0, which is now in cars like the Aito M9 and Avatier 12, processes 3D road data twice as fast as Tesla's FSD. This system doesn't only see stop signs and people walking, it can understand complicated traffic in real time on 95% of Chinese roads without the geofencing constraints that still slow down Western competitors. Xpeng's XNGP makes parking even easier. Even in lots that the system has never seen before, its Park Anywhere feature can fit your car into a tight space with only 8 centimeters of space on each side. It uses live maps made from millions of daily drives, so the system gets better as more people use it. This intelligence isn't kept secret in a beta program. It's coming out in large numbers, like taxis, private automobiles, and delivery vans. This means that everyday drivers may let their cars do the work, park their cars in busy malls, and let AI handle the boring or stressful bits of traffic. The technology is easy to see, useful, and expanding quickly. Anyone who is following the worldwide race for self-driving cars can see that China isn't just following. It's starting to take the lead. A few years ago, the safest and most efficient features in electric cars were only available in top-tier luxury models. China's newest platforms are changing that, making advanced safety and energy-saving tech standard, even in affordable EVs. Take the BYD E4 platform. It doesn't just add a battery, it builds the battery right into the car's body. This cell-to-body structure passes brutal 50-ton crush tests, giving drivers a level of protection few other brands match. It's the kind of real-world crash safety that parents and commuters actually care about, not just engineers. Then there's efficiency. With features like 93% energy recovery during braking and a record low drag coefficient, 0.199 CD, some new Chinese EVs use less energy at highway speed than any global competitor. That means lower running costs and more range from every charge, not just for premium buyers, but for anyone who wants to make the switch. It's not just about beating old records or winning awards. By pushing these features into mass production, China is making once-exclusive tech the new baseline, raising expectations for what every car should deliver, no matter the price tag. China's electric vehicle, EV Boom, isn't slowing down. It's speeding up with a fresh generation of moonshot cars that are meant to change the industry again. The NIO Firefly, which will cost less than 100,000 yen, is aimed at first-time consumers, yet it comes with features that were only available on luxury cars two years ago, like a 500-kilometer range and batteries that can be swapped out. It directly threatens gasoline cars and could change what families and first-time customers think they can get in a cheap car. The Mega from Li Auto is a fully electric MPV with a 5C Quilin battery that can go from 10% to 80% in under 12 minutes. For parents who are always on the go, it means extended travels without having to prepare anything.
a family shuttle with supercar charging, as the business puts it. Meanwhile, the Hozon Neta Sky platform is taking the next leap with V2X, vehicle-to-everything capability, letting the car power homes, tools, or other vehicles during blackouts. On the high end, Human Horizons Hi-Fi A is partnering with F1 experts to bring tri-motor hypercar performance to China's streets. Zero 100 kilometers per H in under two seconds and precise control at every wheel. These aren't concepts or dreams. They're production ready, poised to shake up every segment of the market and proof that China's EV push is still gaining speed, leaving no niche untouched. Every major car maker is now tracking what's rolling out in China, not out of curiosity, but out of necessity. Until recently, European, Japanese, and American brands set the pace for innovation and luxury. Today, many are finding themselves playing catch-up. Chinese EV breakthroughs aren't just happening in labs or luxury showrooms. They're showing up in cars ordinary people can actually buy. High-speed charging, battery swaps, solar integration, and advanced safety used to be marketing points for concept cars. Now, they're hitting real streets in volume. Even the big names like Volkswagen and Toyota are being forced to adapt, with several forming joint ventures just to keep up. The pressure is real. Global automakers now have to compete with cars that not only cost less, but also offer more. Faster charging, longer range, smarter features, and quicker model cycles. In the past, it could take years for high-end tech to trickle down. China is shrinking that gap to months. For the average buyer worldwide, it means more choice, faster improvements, and a shift in who leads and who follows. For the industry giants, it's no longer about brand history. It's about who can deliver the future now. For years, electric vehicles carried a premium price tag. Most buyers had to pay extra for innovation, range, or speed. That's about to change, and the shift is being driven by China's new wave of affordable, feature-packed models. The NIO Firefly isn't just another entry-level EV. It's designed to undercut gasoline cars and make battery swaps a baseline feature, not an expensive upgrade. Manufacturers like BYD and Hozon are now building cars with real range, smart safety, and fast charging for less than what many families spend on a traditional sedan. That kind of price-to-feature ratio isn't just pressure, it's a warning shot. Legacy brands are now being forced to respond, either by slashing costs, accelerating new releases, or offering tech that matches what's hitting Chinese streets. The result? A price war where buyers win. More competition means faster improvement, lower costs, and a surge in EV adoption. First in China, but quickly spreading to global markets. For anyone used to slow rollouts and incremental upgrades, the next few years could be a jolt. This isn't about catching up on features. It's about survival. Prices in the EV market are going down, and only the fastest will be able to keep up. The biggest question for drivers and policymakers outside China, how soon could all this reach their own cities? Right now, most US and European streets are behind, not just in EV features, but in the infrastructure that makes rapid change possible. Battery swap stations on every corner, grid-connected charging, and AI-driven traffic systems require investment and a willingness to move quickly. But the playbook is out in the open. Chinese automakers are exporting not just cars, but the entire EV ecosystem, swap networks, fast chargers, and service platforms, to new markets in Southeast Asia, Europe, and the Middle East. Some countries are already signing deals to import both vehicles and infrastructure leapfrogging slow upgrades and adopting what works in China almost overnight. What would it take to see these breakthroughs in your city? Less red tape, more open standards, and real competition between energy providers, city planners, and automakers. If the momentum continues, the timeline for adoption could collapse from decades to just a few years. The real shift isn't just in the cars, it's in the speed that new ideas can become reality. For cities willing to move, the future isn't far away. China's EV breakthroughs are setting off a global chain reaction. Some countries will move fast, adopting new tech and rolling out advanced infrastructure almost as quickly as it appears. Others will fight to protect old industries, risking being left behind as buyers demand more for less. Global brands that adapt by bringing Chinese-style features and pricing to their own markets could thrive. Those that hesitate or cling to old strategies might fade, no matter how strong their brand was in the past. 
For years, the auto world was used to slow, predictable progress. Now, the pace is relentless. This isn't just about cars. It's about who sets the standards for the next decade, how we charge, drive, and even think about moving through cities. The shockwaves from China's EV surge are already rippling outward, rewriting the rules for everyone everywhere. For governments, companies, and drivers alike, the question is now urgent. Will you lead the change or be forced to catch up later? China's latest EV breakthroughs aren't just a headline. They're already changing what drivers, families, and entire cities expect from their next car. With every new launch, the pace accelerates and the rules get rewritten. For anyone watching from abroad, it's not just about new tech or speed. It's a clear sign. The future of the auto industry is being decided right now on streets most of the world has never seen. So, here's the real question. If these breakthroughs arrived in your city tomorrow, would your local industry step up? Or would they hold back and hope no one notices the gap? Let us know what you really think in the comments. We break down the geo-economic shifts that most headlines skip. If you want the real context and what's driving the headlines, make sure to subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.